Today, we're going to talk about Helm dependencies. For example, you need to deploy a front-end application and it requires database to be present. So you can specify in the Helm chart that database has to be deployed as well. There are three ways how you can define dependencies in the Helm chart. Dependency condition, a YAML path that resolves to a Boolean. Enabled flag, Boolean flag to enable disabled chart. And finally, tags to group charts for enabling and disabling together. All right, let's get started with dependency condition. And you can find all the code, all the charts and instructions in my GitHub repository. Okay, let's get started by creating the first uh, folder. Let's call it one. And this is for dependency condition. And let's um, create two charts. One of them is app and the second one is database. Let's run Helm create app and also let's run Helm create database. Okay, for the first one, we need to go to our main parent chart app that will depend on the database. And let's go to the chart, YAML. So let's uh, define dependency for the database using dependency condition. We need to define uh, dependencies yaml key and it's going to be array of dependencies and in our case it's going to be just one single uh, chart that we will depend the database and this is the version for that chart and here it is condition right so this is the database enable and this is the yaml path in your values so you have to provide this path if it doesn't exist it's going to be ignored and this is the repository uh, where that dependent chart located and this is for one folder up and it's on the same level as here so we're not going to modify the database chart at all but we're just going to reference and depend on it and like I said this is the condition is uh, the YAML path to, to this key so we need to define it as well let's grab this and let's go to the our parent chart app values and then, well, th those YAML files, those keys, those variables are default variables provided and it's generated by the Helm command. And let's uh, define it right on the top. So it's going to be database and the value will be true. So if you say false, the database chart won't be deployed, but in our case, it's enabled. So here in the chart, so this condition will be resolved to this particular uh, database enabled and the value will be true the boolean value so that means this is this going to be deployed so let's uh, go ahead and test and deploy this helm chart in our kubernetes and in order to deploy we need to go to our chart app and uh, the first thing you want to build you want to download all the dependencies there are multiple ways how you can do it and one of them is to run helm dependencies update command and the second one you can run helm install and add additional flag to uh, update dependency during the install but i just want to show you that it will download the chart and now we can see that uh, it's saving one chart and let's uh, take a look what we have and uh, under the charts those uh, folders will contain dependent charts and we can see that the chart was archived and placed it under the chart so now this chart can reference this one and be, and deploy together so let's uh, and also it created the log file with the digest sha and other information now let's install the chart so we're gonna use helm install the chef for the values then web is gonna be our release name and that will represent the location of the chart let's run this command and we can list all the install charts by running helm list and we can see that the chart was installed in default namespace and now we can run kubectl get pods and we can see that both charts were deployed so the first one is the app the chart the responsible for the application itself and the second pod uh, web database this comes from the second database chart okay now let's uh, delete this
and let's talk about option number two so you can you can actually use just enabled flag in the chart itself and let's create folder number two let's do the same thing let's generate two default helm charts and let's switch to the folder two and let's generate two exactly the same charts chart for the app and chart for the database let's run helm create app and let's run helm create uh, database now we have two identical helm charts in the second folder i haven't touched those yet so let's use the second option and we use uh, enable flag so under the chart yaml you can specify dependencies and the difference for this dependency is that we don't use condition right so we're using uh, just the flag enabled so you can enable or you can disable this uh, dependency the database dependency and right now i just enable it and no more configuration required for this approach and let's try to um, update the dependency and install this chart we're gonna run exactly the same command helm dependency update to download the chart now let's check the chart and under the chart we can see that this chart is exists and let's try to deploy it so let me run helm ls to list charts and kubectl get pods so we don't have any pods or anything so let's install it and let's use the same command to install it all right and let me list all the pods so you can see that the first pod comes from the first chart from the app chart and the second pod comes from the second chart that means this flag enabled worked as well let's delete this one all right and let's talk about the final option the tags option you can use in your chart tags to group those charts to enable multiple charts at one time let's create another folder number three and let's switch to that folder all right so now we're in the folder three and well we don't have anything here so let's create exactly some files uh, same helm charts helm chart app and helm chart database let's create the first helm chart and let's create the second helm chart database now let's go to that folder number three those are default charts and what we can do under the app let's locate the chart default chart yaml and now under dependency the third option to enable a chart you can use tags and you can specify multiple tags uh, and here we're gonna specify the that's the database and if it's enabled then this chart uh, will be deployed as well and in order to do that we need to in the parent chart the parent is the app chart we need to define again the yaml key the key will start with the tags and then this is the the chart name the this is the tag name tags database and this is the tag name and this is the value so you, you can either enable or disable this tag and in this case is going to be enabled and let's try to deploy this let's switch to the app chart and run helm dependency update and let's install it all right and let's run kubectl get pods to verify that all of them deployed so you can see that the database the second helm chart and the first helm chart were deployed in this uh, default namespace so if you like this video you can check out my another video about the helm 3 tutorial where i explain the helm structure and also we will create the hello world helm chart thanks for watching